So in our last video where we started with my very first crochet blanket, we had to take a pause just because the very yarns I was using were out of stock. And then a couple months later, I found out that they were finally back in stock, so I had to go to the store and grab them for myself. Every single one left on the shelf. Which was exactly the number of yarns I thought I had needed. Whee! This is my babies! <laughs> Hi guys! So it's been 4 months now since we got on our crochet project and we are back! Oh my god! I'm so excited! I actually started last night and but I was too tired to film the process so today I actually managed to get the hang of it and to remember how it goes initially started off with the wrong video and then I realized something was off so I decided to double check again because it wasn't in my saved list and then uh, I managed to find it and I picked it up really fast considering how long it has been and I realized it takes a while to get the hang of it again so I am now continuing on I think this is the third yarn so we're just gonna continue on you see this is the amount that I have taken out after making a huge mistake earlier on <laughs> so thankfully I caught on in time and it was just one row of mistakes so we're gonna continue on let's go this is where I am this is the length eh, sorry the width supposedly okay so I have started a new row here the next step is actually to skip two and start with the third one here. So we're gonna go through and then supposed to do three single crochets. One, two, and three. Cha 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 cha. Honestly, this is the one project that I can't wait to finish up just because the color is really pretty and I can't wait to start actually using it and it will be a very nice decor for home use okay so we're gonna get on and let's see how much we can accomplish I think I'm at a point where I can multitask while I do this a bit more than when I first started I've taken a long pause just because I realized that crocheting really takes up a lot of time, effort, focus and it requires a huge part of my presence and I've been spending a lot of time doing my healing work with therapy and also focusing on other areas of my life so it wasn't a good time for me to get back on it and also because they ran out of yarn so I had to wait for it to be ready and I started off with a new project which um, the video should be up before this one and for that one I realized it's so, so difficult because the yarn is a lot thinner than this We are done with the first yarn after about an hour or so and I am going to connect the second one always remembering to take from the center just so that it doesn't get messy while you're doing it and we're going to connect the yarn this way I think yes. Supposed to grab it and then am I doing it right? Okay, grab it with your thumb, loop it. One, two, 
and then three and this two ends will go through here <laughs> this is really thick though <laughs> I feel like I'm doing this wrong wait right now I'm having a small issue where the ends are not lining up seems like I did extras here and somehow I have missing uh, holes so I don't know how to resolve this there's gonna be this weird uh, shape in the corner but I guess I will just have to deal with it still weird I'm on my third yarn for today and I'm having a problem and as you can tell oh my god guys I just recorded a whole bunch of content and it was not filming me <laughs> it was the front camera anyway what I've shared was that um, I have already removed about a third of this and I'm gonna remove the rest here because as you can tell this is straight a straight line whereas over here it kind of concaves down just because there was a miscount and I tried to salvage it by implementing my own steps or skipping some steps and obviously it turned out really obvious as I work through the rest of the troll so I am now removing it three yarns that I went through today no two and a half yarns that I've gone through today all removed I think the problem started around here so gotta find a way to oh well it's now about 7 30 I have a class at 8 p.m. and so I am gonna have to speed this up earlier today this afternoon it was my first session with my friend uh, where we played Othello online and it was really fun it was our first half an hour session my friend introduced me for the first time to the nine different types of intelligence you can google it and that includes of course spatial intelligence bodily kinesthetic intelligence naturalist intelligence apart from the eq iq pq and sq that we know and apparently there are nine different types of intelligence playing otello helps with spatial intelligence so i guess we are growing in the process of playing games Something is wrong here, but what is causing that? And I hope that helps. I think it should help as long as you love me. we go I'm gonna pause right here and we'll get on to it after my class I guess for now I'm gonna watch little women for the next 15 minutes <laughs> see you guys and your child we have uh, a, what makes me who I am I am continuing after removing a huge bunch of my work yesterday. Having worked on this the whole of yesterday, I realized one thing, that I've forgotten how painful it is when I'm using my thumb to actually help me to make this. And what I mean by that is when I go through each hole, I'm using my thumb to constantly help me bring the yarn over. So right now it feels like there's a bit of a bruise. And so I was just doing it again today. And all of a sudden, I was able to just figure out that I could 
finally pull it through without using my finger, which I simply could not at all previously, no matter how hard I tried. And I'm not sure why. Finally managed to figure out how to pull it through without having to use my finger. And that is to simply twist and turn the stick. <laughs> what do you even call it? Okay, so I go through, pull it through, and keep the tension here as low as possible. Go over and then twist my stick this way. So obviously my movements have to be bigger than before but now I don't have to use my finger and it can rest from the pain. It's still gonna take me some practice to get it right and get used to this motion but at least I figured it out. I, I really tried many times throughout my whole process of crocheting and somehow it just, I just couldn't get it and suddenly today I could. In my mind, I really thought it was completely impossible. So maybe that's a lesson to learn. <laughs> Is that whatever you think is impossible will come to you at the right time. When you are ready. <laughs> what? How is this possible? Look, I still can't believe I'm managing to do this without my thumb. I mean, although I am still making mistakes. See, I accidentally did something weird there. Look at this. It's not straight. Might have missed two spots here. And hence it caused this hole. So we're gonna remove up to perhaps here so that I can join this two back and make this a straight line. Okay, I've taken out quite a bit and this is the length I'm starting with again compared to like, I think I took out about more than half. We gotta do what we gotta do. Let's continue on. Today that I realize that to double confirm if you are on the right track whenever you're on the third count which is the hole you're supposed to work with it's usually the tightest one out of the three I still can't believe I'm able to do this without the help of my thumb now which is such a relief I honestly think this is gonna be my favorite throw blanket for the rest of my life it's because I really like the colours and also it's counted as my first actual troll blanket that I've ever done. I hope I'd still be using this when I am 90 years old if I'm still alive. Okay, we're at the end now. Time to flip over. This part is what I was talking about, which is the start. Instead of you're supposed to go 3 by 3 right? But then instead of doing that, you're supposed to go into the first hole first. Do one, I think you call this a full stitch. And then skip one, do the next. And do three, 
four rounds. And when you're done, this is where it's repetitive throughout until the last, very last hole. And we will skip two and do the third one. And do that for the rest of this row. One, two, three. Honestly, it looks complicating, but it's really not. It's really easy to remember the more you do it. And I like how it has slight variations so that I do not get bored while I'm doing it. That's probably my favorite pattern to do so far. Although it's only the second one I'm really trying. So far, the ends of my blanket are doing well. It's a straight line if you can see and on the other side it's a straight line as well thankfully then I don't have to remove them and why is it easy to make a mistake is because at the end it's a little hard to tell where it kind of ends or starts so you kind of have to grasp it because it's easy to think that it ends here and then you finish up your project here and and change row but Honestly, it ends here, you see, so it's a little hard to tell, but I think I've gotten the hang of it. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. How do you do a grandma voice? This is an update of the crochet progress that I've done in the past three days. This is the length we're at now and I am almost about done with my fourth yarn ever since we got started. Total I have nine. I am left with four including this that I'm working with now. So that means I am on my... Wait, what? finished up five i am on my sixth yarn and we are left with three yarns unfortunately they have completely discontinued this particular yarn the whole range not even just in this color i do have another last one which is a pink color and obviously it's a different color but if i do not have enough i might have to use that to complete this project um but yeah it's looking good so far. Both ends are straight. Pushing this up. How long more do I need? Honestly, if I am dedicated and focused to finishing up this today, it's possible. Last night, I finished this at about 12 a.m. So, uh, yeah. I do think I have the capacity for that. And But that means that this video is going to end very, very soon. But I'm having a lot of fun with this and I don't really want it to end. But then again, I want to see the end product. Um, so yeah, I'll give you guys an update later. And we shall see if 9 yarns is enough to actually make a troll blanket. One in this particular size. Wait, I think I've done three. Um, this one is the 170 gram one and it is a needle size of 12 millimeter 68 meter ball
last one and I went through the last how many three yarns I think and yeah this is the very last one now guess what so for the whole of today I've been craving macarons and I have already succeeded in making three successful batches so this will be my fourth one I have already tried the raspberry and pistachio flavors so now I'm going to make matcha ta -ta -ta -ta. so now I'm making the matcha ganache and so far it's looking good we are done with the ganache and let it cool in the refrigerator for 2 hours apparently I am considering doing a roast version all in I'm gonna keep this in the fridge I actually think it's enough no it may not be we shall see next we're gonna work on our macaron shells okay gonna do the eggs can you see it no you can't no you can't <laughs> I gotta do it till it is between 55 to 60 degrees there okay that be good now Whew. let's just check there 58 <gasps> 57 okay 58 okay now that we're done with whisking, oh my gosh! Okay, gotta turn it off first, and we are gonna slowly pour in the sugar, adding our sugar. So this part is really crucial, and we're gonna make sure it reaches a consistency where it's neither over mixed nor under mixed Liquidy one, two. And then we're gonna let it dry for an hour. So I literally just filmed the end of me <laughs> doing this and it did not get recorded so I'm just gonna remove it and uh, act like we are still <laughs> crocheting so I am now waiting for my macaroon shells to dry up and we are left with about how long more? my shells were done at 9.07 so I cleaned up, I showered and it's now about 9.45 so I just have a little bit more time to wait so we're just gonna finish up this and I have a small little problem which you'll find out very soon I actually can't believe that I am finishing this up today I honestly thought it would take a lot longer and FYI I am left with this much of my yarn to finish this up I've been waiting for this moment since we started on this and it's finally here! Can you believe it? No, I can't! I 
I still haven't found a good sitting position by the way to do my crochet because the way I'm doing it now really hurts my back especially if I have to sit this way for long hours I honestly think I'm going to be those grandmas with a cute little knitting and crocheting chair <laughs> you know what? I didn't have enough yarn earlier but I might have enough because I did a little tightening please 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 oh my god I didn't have enough earlier but I have enough now okay to finish off I think I'm supposed to do this wait I might be wrong oh my god just nice okay okay now I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna end this off not very sure it's here and i'm gonna refer to my video like dun, 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 dun. this is how big it is can you even see the full size it's roughly the size the shape of a square yeah <laughs> okay i kind of like this size this is perfect for one Yay! Watch the video. Any one of the rows. And to finish the blanket, once you're done, you have the tail right here. All you gotta do is keep it. What? Okay, so we actually need a needle to weave this through, but I am just gonna use my fingers. <laughs> uh, and I'm just gonna like intuit this rather than figure out the exact way because all you really have to do is to hide it right so we're gonna pull this through down this whole line okay but we're done yay oh my god we are done with our my first ever crochet blanket it is now 9 50 yay guys yay 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 all right guys that is all i hope you have enjoyed joining me on my crochet journey on my first ever crochet blanket and as you can see, it's really rather easy to learn on your own and very therapeutic for me as well. Very healing and peaceful, a very fun process. And I feel so proud of myself in this moment. But for those who wish to start your very own crochet blanket, I hope this has motivated you to give it a try and to really witness how easy it is to actually just start and yeah. I just wish they hadn't discontinued this yarn because I really like the material and I actually wanted to collect a couple of their colours but I guess I have to look for something else. I'm going to keep the um, information here just so that I can perhaps find a similar one to make this and maybe have a collection of my own. <laughs> but yeah, I look forward to using this for the rest of my life yeah, other than that oh this is the initial one we're just gonna do the same thing again i guess and there are large holes here that you can just put it through yeah i'm so happy guys anyway yes okay so we're done with that this turned out really well <laughs> this batch turned out pretty good however Look here, these ones are all cracking. <gasps> oh my god.